Great Reno balloon race starts tomorrow. Colo Eight News Now's Emily Benino joins us here in studio. Emily, it's not only a good time, but also a boon for our economy. Yes, Noah, it is, and I didn't realize that, but the executive director, Pete Copeland, says that the economic impact makes quite a big difference in our community, but that the most important thing that is keeping this event free for those who want to bring their families to it and enjoy the fun. The annual Great Reno Balloon Race is back, and they'll be ushering in some early mornings for families trying to watch the balloons float across the finish line. But that's not all the races are bringing to the area. Uh, we did an economic impact study with uh, our partners at the university about 10 years ago, um, and we, we're over 10 to 15 million dollars of economic impact. And, and I and I think it's more than the economic impact. It's the it's the positive connotation that the balloons bring to our community. Executive Director Pete Copeland says seeing everyone enjoy the event is what makes all the hard work worth it every year. Families are a big part of what we do. That's the one thing we really pride ourselves for is this is free in every aspect to the to the uh, to the community. And his advice for what parents should keep in mind when bringing their kids to the event to keep them warm and having fun. And as we know living in northern Nevada at 5,000 feet it's really cool in the morning. It's all about layering. Bundle them up. You know, they're going to have a lot of fun playing in the park at 5 a.m. in the morning. Get some hot chocolate when you get here for them, and we're going to have some good music and a lot of beautiful balloons. He also says to arrive early, around 4 in the morning, to make sure you are parked and ready to enjoy the show at 5. You want to you want to get to the park early, right? We do have general parking lots. They require a small uh, donation to help to keep the event free. But don't worry, if you're not a morning person, there are several local Starbucks locations, including the one on the corners of Keystone and 7th, that will be opening early at 3 a.m. to make sure those of us who need it are caffeinated. And for those of us who can't quite make it to the event, Copeland says that you should be able to see the balloons from almost anywhere in Reno. In the studio, Emily Benito, Colo 8 News Now. Yeah, that coffee will come in handy. Thanks, yes, Emily. It will.